What's up guys, Peter Von Panda here. Hey, I'm standing next to a few big boxes that just came. Uh, I actually ordered some outdoor patio chairs. You know, they're kind of like the fake wicker. Um, I think they're polyester or something. Uh, and then they all have cushions. So it's, summer's over, it's already fall. And so, you know, patio furniture is on sale, which is why I got it because I'm a cheap son of a gun. Um, so here's what it is. Uh, you know, these are the, I guess they'll kind of look like that, except sideways and they are well in brown and there's the item number i'll put a link to them in the description so that if you want to pick them up uh you can too you know i can't uh guarantee that obviously the price will stay the same or that they'll even be available which is why i got um three boxes of them each box has two chairs so i wanted to have enough uh, seating for you know a, a small group of people to be sitting around and boozing um what i will say is that uh, these two chairs which come with the uh, kind of the wicker chair form the square chair form and then a the set of cushions for the chair i believe i got them for 140 dollars a set so you know 70 dollars a chair basically which i thought was a pretty good price now we've got to get these set up and try them out and see what they look like All right, got everything out of the box. Everything's bubble wrap, so it's gonna take a little while to get uh, things unpacked. Uh, you can see here, there are seat cushions, two of them, and then a back cushion, I believe, you know, and wrapped in plastic, which is kind of nice. And so I think that this base here looks like kind of like a, a wire base or kind of a like a light thin metal, sheet metal kind of base here. And then I think we're gonna build the chairs up from that. Now, we do have a little Ziploc bag of parts here, which includes an Allen key and uh, some bolts and some washers. So that's all it takes to put everything together. And then in that same pouch, there is an instruction book here on how, I think, to assemble them. So it looks like we have the base, kind of a platform, two arms and a back. There we go. Left arm rest, right arm rest, back rest and seat. So, and then there's that base, and then the cushion. So, hopefully this should be pretty simple. Let's go ahead and put it together. All right, just getting everything unwrapped from bubble wrap is kind of uh, <laughs> a little bit difficult. Uh, it's not difficult, it's just time consuming. And uh, what I've noticed is that the instructions have like A, B, C panels, but as far as I can tell, there's no markings on the panels themselves. So here's what I've kind of figured out is that uh, the, the tray, kind of the base of it, which is actually really light, it's like rolled sheet metal, um, really, really light, is marked front and back. So that's obviously gonna help. Now, there are two pieces, you know, two pieces for each side, and there is a back piece um, that looks like a back, and that's gonna be your back piece, and then you're also gonna have basically uh, two arm pieces and I and I grab the ones that are the the side arms you can see kind of they bow out which is going to make sense to give the the person as much volume of space inside and then what I've also noticed is on the back there are kind of two little metal posts that stick out and those are going to fit inside a little metal holes on the side here so this will fit in here and then the bottom is kind of this l-shaped piece here and that's going to fit just like that. So according to the instructions, I actually attach the sides first, uh, then, the, then the bottom piece, and then I attach the, the bottom frame to it. So we're gonna do that and hopefully it works out. All right, so I got one done here. And you know, it's not hard, but the detail work is kind of annoying. So uh, unless you have multiples of these, as you can see, I got another Allen key from another set out because I cut the one to use in my power drill there. Now that was a problem because the screws that hold the base, the seat base, to the sides is right here and as you can see they have this little cross member here so I couldn't get my screw gun in there, uh, the drill in there and so I actually had to tighten that by hand and man that's a pain <laughs> to twist all those threads like a quarter turn at a time. I kind of wish uh, this were a little bigger or something like that but it is what it is and so the, the, this one is the, the biggest pain of all. You know some of these like this one and this one I was able to use the drill, uh, the ones right here able to use the drill and then obviously to mount the base to the chair uh, I was able to use the drill too so you know it's kind of 
you put one side uh, connected to the back and bolted together, then you put the bottom on, then you put the other side and bolted together, and then you put the, the base on. So let's go ahead and flip it over and take a look at it. So guys, here's the chair. Um, it's all set up, actually got uh, the other one set up uh, and I think it looks great. You know, first of all, the material is pretty awesome. You know, it has like a little bit of a smooth, like not, not quite waxy feel, but almost like kind of a canvas feel. And I think that's specifically for uh, keeping it as water resistant as possible. The other thing is um, between the tan and the gray, uh, maybe the tan and the brown type of um, stitching on it it's got a like a concrete look maybe you know compared to the concrete it's a little bit more on the tan side than the gray side but it, uh, it looks great it has a little bit of kind of like an earthy feel to it and then also you know the um, uh, you know polyester plastic type of wicker material here uh, obviously it has some design in it and as well as a little bit of like pebbling texture on it feels great um, not only does it feel great but like when you sit in it um, and you rub your arm on it you know with bare skin sideways or forward or backwards there's no sharp edges each of the areas are rounded uh, so you don't have any kind of catching so it's really comfortable and uh, just a little bit springy so that you know it just it feels great it'd certainly be comfortable to hold um, a cup here and drink on it uh, so I really like that and the color and I think the texture you know it, uh, really works together the other thing is you may not be able to see here is that uh, you know as I talked about the the arms splay out a little bit now uh, let's uh Let's take a look at that. So I wanna show you that when I sit down in the thing, what we have is, um, you know, tons of room. I'm a big, big boy, man, and there's plenty of space here for me to uh, spread my legs, kind of be really comfortable. And, you know, the fact that they kind of bow out here as well uh, makes it even feel more um, spacious and kind of angles your arm out more comfortably than kind of the straight arms that are you know on office chairs and, and kitchen chairs or dining room chairs things like that so just a great place to lounge the other thing i will say is that there's a lot of material from uh the front to the back here so you have a really long seating surface and what that does is it kind of gives you a little bit of a relaxed recliner type of position which is perfect you know because this is the kind of chair you're going to want to sit outside and recline on and uh, just be really comfortable on so the fact that it has kind of a really large seating surface um, makes it even that much more, you know, comfortable and, and easy to use. So I really, really like them. You know, uh, one thing I will point out here, though, is if you can see, is, you know, I got the base uh, on here. But I think, you know, as I was tightening things up, and the bases always seem to be flat when I took them out of the box, you can see this chair here rocks just a little bit, right? Um, it's kind of actually quite a bit, you know. But I think it's basically the way I've tightened it together and the little bit of play that adds up in the whole package here ends up making um you know it's kind of torqued it a little bit now i don't know if that'll settle in a, um you know over time but one thing i have noticed is that if i sit in it just my weight which is pretty massive you know kind of squishes it down the play kind of disappears i can rock it a little bit here but i'm not really noticing it and i could probably go in and maybe adjust the 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 nuts on it to um, accommodate that. One clever thing that I found out about the chairs here is that the bottom have these little adjustable stops so you can adjust it. So that little wobble I'm having is now cured because I've adjusted the feet. Look at that. Pretty cool. So that's uh, the, the summary of these chairs, but I think they're, they're pretty awesome. So uh, a good deal, I think, you know, end of uh, the season a purchase, but you can actually, you know, pick these up. I'll put a link to them in the description. Peter Von Band out.